Hey farm hands, farm boy reef here. Welcome to the lab. So on this episode of the lab, we're going to talk about sumps, sumps on our reef tank, what they do, why they're so beneficial. So when I designed these uh, three sumps, I want half the volume of these 60 gallons. So if we ever have a power outage, it'll take that water and we won't have any floods. So what I want to do is I want to bring you guys down close and personal. We're going to check these all out. What kind of equipment's going to go in there? We have different chambers and uh, what they do. So a few uh, things that's great about having the sump, it hides all your equipment. So that saying is you don't have to put any heaters in here, skimmers. All you're going to have is just your, your uh, pumps for uh, moving the water. But then it's more pleasing to the eye. You just look at your tank, so you end up having all your fish and your corals and your live rock and your sand. And that's all you have to see. You don't have to see any wires and they can keep everything below. So that's a few of the pointers, guys. And just having that extra volume of water, you don't have those shifts in salinity. It keeps uh, your water uh, nice and clean on the surface because everything goes over your overflow and all of the contaminants go down in below for your skimmer to catch. So let's go down below. Let's check out these three sumps. We're gonna check out all the chambers and uh, where all the equipment goes and some reasonings why. <laughs> all right, gang, so we're down below here. We have our 30 gallon uh, sump. So we're looking at it, what do we got? Well. A sump consists of chambers and baffles. So if you see here, this is the first chamber, second chamber, we have our baffles, and then we have our third chamber. So what's going on in the first chamber is we have our overflow box drain right here. It's in the first chamber. So what's gonna happen in your first chamber is I have a filter sock. So what a filter sock does, what's great is, it polishes your water, keeps it really clean, it catches any debris coming from uh, your main display, and what I like is it catches it so it doesn't get in your sump and gets it you know, really dirty and then you don't have to clean the sump as uh, much so you can keep your maintenance low. So that's what goes in right here. What I did is I uh, cut a piece of uh, acrylic and made a four inch hole so it just slides in there perfectly so the water will flow in here, polish our water. So that is a filter sock. That's one great uh, tool to have in your sump. So as we keep moving, the next thing what's going to happen is in the first chamber, we're end up. We're gonna have a nice Tunzi skimmer in here. We're gonna have an unboxing episode coming up very soon of the new uh, Tunzi skimmer. So that's what's gonna go in this chamber. And the other thing that you can put in here, it's got a nice lot of water flow, is you can get uh, these little bags. And what you're gonna do is you can fill these with carbon. What the carbon's gonna do is really gonna polish your water and pull out any impurities. And then you can use uh, the Polylab uh, Pro Carbon, fill that right up. And if you put your carbon in there and you put it in a high flow area and you can put that in your sump and it's really gonna polish your water. So that's what the first chamber, everything you can put in there. So when you're moving on, so we're on to the second chamber. What's the second chamber? Well, we can call this our refugium. And what a refugium does is we can put microalgaes in here and what the microalgaes do, it helps clean your water as well and uh, takes away like nitrates and phosphates out of your water. And the other thing that we end up, we can do in here is we can add two to three inches of sand and then we're gonna have uh, copiapods. They'll keep breeding in there, feeding our main display. So what we're gonna call this, the, there's no predator zone. So nothing can end up eating our nice little copiapods that are gonna feed our display and then have our microalgae. And then later on, we're gonna end up uh, installing the Tunzi LED. This one here can be submerged underwater. That's pretty neat. So you can put it anywhere. If you wanna put it below in here with your uh, microalgae, so it keeps it alive and keeps it growing. It's a great product, guys. So we're going to do an unboxing of the Tunzi LED as well. So that's what refugium is. Keep your copiopods in there. Anything that's going to be beneficial for your tank for filtration and feeding. Why don't feed your uh, main display for free? Just keep sure you know you keep uh, your copiopods uh, breeding in there. So what you're going to do next after we leave our, leave our refugium, it's going to overflow over this baffle, and then it's going to cut down below to this baffle. And what this baffle does is any uh, micro bubbles at all that flow. You don't want to have any bubbles flowing into your return pump, in your display tank. It doesn't look pleasing to the eye having all these little bubbles. So that's what this chamber is going to do with these baffles. It's going to take all the micro bubbles. Then what's going to happen is we're going to make it into our return pump. This is our return line, the three quarter going back into the main display. So this is the last place your water ends up going to be. So what goes on in here? Uh, we have the Tunzi, the 107 3.04, uh, the unboxing episode we just did. It's a great pump. So that's what I have installed here. We have a three quarter uh, union fitting. If you ever have a problem, you just spin that off and put a new pump in ASAP so we don't end up uh, disturbing our tank. And the other great thing is too, in this chamber, we can uh, put the, the ATO automatic uh, water top up system. We can put the probe in here. The best uh, area to put it in here is because 
everything's been filtered, no debris can catch the sensor and cause an issue. So this is where you would end up putting the, the Tunzi uh, top-up system in this area. And the other spot we can do too is we can uh, install the heater. So you end up, you put the heater in here as well and uh, you don't have it in your main display. So this is a great spot to put all these different uh, all your different gear. So you got your heater, your return pump, you have your, you know, you're gonna have your Tunzi skimmer. It's great guys, you can put a lot of different uh, beneficial things in here. So that's a few uh, parts of uh, what goes on in a, in a refugium and in a sump. Sumps can be uh, built out of anything guys. I went with acrylic because I want to have half the volume of this water and I want something that's really pleasing to the eye. And other tanks you can build too is you can get a nice glass aquarium that would fit for the same application. You would just get pieces of glass. You could make your own chambers by siliconing them in. Or you can just use a uh, human grade uh, plastic as well and make your, make your own sump. It's whatever really uh, benefits you that you enjoy or even when it comes down to cost. You can end up making anything you want but acrylic is amazing. You can cut it up and make anything you want. And you can make a couple, you know, beautiful sumps. I added uh, this nice orange around the top. It gives it pleasing to the eyes. So when I install all my LEDs in here, it's going to make this pop and give it a little extra vibrant color too because it's really translucent orange. So this is part of the sump. That's uh, it's a really uh, nice piece of gear to have. Anybody should have if you really want to make your display look really uh, good. Keep all your gear below, guys. So that's the sump. I hope you guys uh, like checking that out. So I'm going to bring you guys in uh, close in person. All right, gang. So here we go. So first chamber we're looking at, this is our drain line. So this is the drain line that goes right from the overflow box. So you guys can see. So what's going to happen next is it's going to flow into this four inch filter sock. As you guys can see, I added a piece of nice acrylic there with a four inch hole to take the sock. So this is considered our first chamber. So our first chamber right here is going to house our Tunzi skimmer that's going to be coming up in the other episodes. So this is our first chamber. So first chamber has our drain line, filter sock, and Tunzi skimmer. So the perfect thing about having the filter sock, it polishes our water, it keeps any big debris getting into our sump so we don't have to clean it as often. So this is our first chamber. So we're going to move on to our next chamber. We're going to consider this one the refugium. So what the refugium consists of, we're going to say two inches of sand, and we're going to add some microalgae and some pods and then they can uh, multiply themselves. And then we're going to move on to, if we look here, you guys can see see the baffles. So these baffles here are great for uh, micro bubbles so we don't get into our main display tank. So it's perfect like that. So they just keeps overflowing, goes underneath and back over into our return pump. So as you guys can see I added the three quarter union fitting into that pump. So if there's ever an issue, I can just spin that open and put a new pump in ASAP so my tank is not down. And then you guys can see the nice uh, translucent orange. So this is really going to pop when we end up putting uh, the LEDs on here. So this is where we end up housing all our equipment for the year guys. We're going to have our heater, our skimmer, a UV sterilizer, return pump. Alright guys, so that's this week's episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little bit about sumps and refugiums. So if you guys turn in uh, next week, same time, same place, we're going to have a whole new episode of The Lab. So if you guys could leave some comments below, I'd love to answer them if you guys have any questions. So thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. Please subscribe and hit the like button.